day I'll find a home. The picture in my mind, a place where I can. She's always brought a healthy dose of sass, fashion critique, and blatant honesty. Our childhood was never boring. If I could describe my sister in three words, it would be hilarious, brilliant, and beautiful. From the day Abby was born, both Tammy and me have prayed that God would bring a man into her life with great character. I believe with all my heart that you are that man. Since we were roommates for a while, I thought I would use this time to give advice to your new roommate, Josh, <laughs> on how to live with you. She will turn her alarm off several times in the morning when she wakes up. Now, if she is running late in the morning, just stay out of the way. Now, if she's not running late in the morning, just don't make her talk much, all right? Just let her ease into the morning. She will fall asleep anytime, anywhere, any place. <laughs> Well, Josh and Abby, you're here today on your wedding day. <laughs> Did you say that again? <laughs> Abby, you shared with me that you noticed quickly, Josh has proven to be a man of integrity, love, leadership, and commitment to Jesus. And Josh, you told me that you thought Abby was the most beautiful girl in the world. You loved her passion for life and the joy she found in even just mundane things. She also, has kind eyes that you loved, that looked at people beyond what the eye could see, observing and learning who they are. Josh, you shared with me that you want to marry Abby because you want to pursue her heart, show her love, and never be without her. She is your person, your best friend, and your love. And Abby, you shared with me that you want to marry Josh because he loves you like Jesus. As Josh has loved, pursued, and led you with such care and intention for seven years, it's easy for you to want to be his wife.
Josh, take you, Abby, to be my wife, my partner in life, my one true love. <laughs> I will cherish her friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst, through the difficult and the easy, what may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold, so I give you my life to keep, so help me God. I, Abby, take you, Josh, be my husband, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship and love you. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst, difficult and the easy. What may come, I will always be there. I have given you my hand to hold. I have given you my life to keep. So help me, God. God gives us a blueprint in this passage to live out a love for each other that if you both follow it, will allow you to have a love that does not give up, that does not lose faith, and that endures through the difficult circumstances of life. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Josh, you may kiss your bride. Abby's my oldest friend. When Abby and I were in fifth grade together, I asked out every single girl to be my girlfriend except for Abby. <laughs> it's just because I respected her so much. <laughs> Abby, you've grown so much in the 12 years I've known you, especially in your relationship with Christ. You are so clearly a woman of God, and you are a light to everyone you meet. You are so beautiful inside and out, and Josh is a lucky guy. Josh, we are honored to have you as part of our family. Abby, I know that the Matthews are equally honored to have you a part of theirs. I believe that the most important part about marriage is to stay close to Jesus. The closer you grow in Him, the closer you grow to each other. I love you so much, Abby. I am honored to be standing here with you and Josh today. I wish you all the happiness, joy, and love that marriage has to offer. I'm so happy you both got your happily ever after. So if you would raise your glasses and toast to the bride and groom, to Abby and Josh. <laughs> The thing I do love about Abby, though, is she's not afraid to tell you how she feels. For example, a few months ago, after Josh had proposed to Abby, Abby made it clear that she didn't like my long hair. <laughs> and she didn't want it for the wedding. So I grew it up for three years. I had no intention of cutting it. And then two days ago, I said, I'm going to do this for Abby. The cool thing, though, is that I am donating my hair to someone in need. And that someone is Mike Matthews. <laughs>
and she finds out all your weird little quirks that you had no idea you had, don't forget to say good night. Love you. But if you got comments, questions, concerns, <laughs> let me know. I love you. I think the thing that separates good friends and great friends is the ability to be vulnerable with one another. I've shared things with Josh that only the Lord above knows, and he shared with me in the same way. Josh, I trust you with my life, and I always have your back. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. And you've been there for me in, my lo in the lowest moments of my life. You're wise beyond your years, and I hope to someday be half the man you are. Amen. Josh, now you're my greatest friend, and I'm so blessed to have you in my life. <laughs> and I wish you a lifetime of happiness. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. People gathered here today are not here by accident. This exact group of people most likely will never be gathered again. These are the people that God has put in your lives to help guide you on your journey. The challenge before you, Josh, is that can you be a better man than your father? God has given you a wonderful example of what a godly man should look like. He stands right there. Abby, you now have two mothers. Let them guide you in your walk. They have a heavenly wisdom that I do not understand. <laughs> Today, you start your journey with your best friend. Let us raise our glass and toast the new couple. And with this toast, they promise from all of us that we will be able to help and enjoy to them. May your lives be filled with all the joy of heaven. Amen. Amen.